friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. In today's video, I wanted to share with you my black and white living room tour. You guys know I love decorating in black and white. So I thought I would give you a little tour around my living room, um, this entryway here, and tell you where I got a few things in case you're interested. I know a lot of you guys love black and white decor as much as I do, so I wanted to share this black and white living room inspiration with you before we start decorating for fall, which is coming up within the next week. So to start off here in the entryway, a few weeks ago, I talked to you about budget luxury and how I decorate my home in a budget luxury style and what that meant to me. So basically budget luxury to me is adding a few key high-end pieces along with your more inexpensive pieces to give you that high-low lux for less look that I always talk to you guys about. And so that's what I've done here throughout my home. So in that budget luxury video, I talked to you guys about painting this wall black. As you can see, we have done that and I am absolutely in love. It makes such a dramatic statement. It just makes everything pop. And black to me, the color black, just exudes luxury. It speaks elegance to me and that's why I love black. Black is also timeless and classic. It will never go out of style. You never have to worry about you know, let's say you went into the next trend that came along and you changed everything in your house and then that trend went away and now you're stuck with things that you might not have liked but you picked up because it was the trend. Well, you never have to worry about that with black, with black because it will never go out of style. So I love the feature wall and these two prints um, came from World Market. Um, I want to say about four years ago now, um, they came in a set of two. They are no longer available, but I'm sure you can find something similar on Overstock, which is now Bed Bath & Beyond and Overstock together, they combined together. So I'm sure you can find something there or you can find something from Wayfair that would be inexpensive, maybe even um kirkland's but i absolutely love these two pieces black and white very modern very abstract you guys know i love abstract art so i love the way they look here on the wall now to pair with it you guys remember these lamps these lamps came from home goods several years ago i featured them many times in my home they did not come with these black lampshades one of the ways i elevate the look is to change out the lampshade. So the lampshade that came with this lamp was rectangular. I didn't like it. I didn't like the color. So what am I gonna do? Change it with my favorite color, of course, which is black. And I think it just elevated the lamps to a whole new level. This um, coral piece came from Z Gallery. Our books, coffee table books, came from Amazon. This vase came from Home Goods. Um, it is actually very similar to a piece from CB2, which I've talked to you guys about before, um, that is selling right now, I think, for $69. So if you like the vase, hopefully you can find it at Home Goods. I don't want to say I got it for $24.99. The florals, I absolutely love as well. They are faux Bell of Ireland um, stems. They came from, I think, G&G. &G forget the name I'll leave it linked in the description box down below but it's an online store I absolutely love these stems very high quality don't mind my feet <laughs> this piece down here came from um, overstock um, I think it was around five or six hundred dollars several years ago but I love the mirrored finish I've talked to you guys about that before it's sort of antiqued and I just love how this whole look came together again it's giving budget luxury to me absolutely love it now as 
we walk on into the living room, this is how it looks. I've made a few updates in here recently that I want to share with you. But first, we'll start with where I got the carpet. So the carpet is black, white, and silver. Um, it might be reading a little warm because of the light behind me. It is a little later in the day, but it is black, white, and silver. It came from Amazon. I don't want to say it was around $3.50. Absolutely love it. The coffee table came from Overstock about four or five years ago as well. It was originally sold at C Gallery, and then they stopped selling it. But the coffee table was a splurge. It was $500, but I love the look. I love the mirrored glass. I decorate in black and white with a touch of glam. So that's where the mirrored glass comes in. The couch is from, is it Haverty's? Um, I think Haverty's. Um, it's a dark charcoal. Absolutely love it. Recently, I showed you in a video where I blacked out the couch and I styled it similar to couches that you would see styled in Z Gallery. I, not Z Gallery, RH, sorry. The couches you would see styled in RH. I just love the look. I'll put up a few photos here of how they style their couches. Absolutely love that. So I wanted to create that same look here in my living room and I'm blanking out my living room for fall as I told you guys so this is just the beginning look and these pillows all came from Amazon so if you're interested I will leave them linked down below because we are blacking out everything I do need to add contrast and so this throw has the contrast that we need it is black but it also has this nubby yarn and it goes well with the velvet pillow covers absolutely love them again these all came from amazon our c table here came from you to home it was part of a collaboration i love it i set my computer here i have my books here read have a glass of wine everything perfect little c table these candles here also came from Amazon. I absolutely love them. I will turn them on at night for the ambiance. So, so nice. These coasters I picked up from Ross several years ago. The um, faux Hermes throw came from Amazon. I don't know if it's available. It used to be, um, and you could find the link for it in my Amazon storefront. Anything that I mentioned that I got from Amazon, you can find in my Amazon storefront, which you can shop 24 seven. And if you do, I get a small commission. So I greatly appreciate that. To go on to the decor on my coffee table, this little black tray also came from Amazon. The faux books came from Amazon. The decorative black and white box came from Amazon. Those black tea coasters came from Target. This book also came from Amazon, this Ryan Corbin book. The Petrified Wood Piece came from Home Goods. The Candle came from Walmart that was featured in a haul if you missed that. These coffee table books are a DIY. You guys know I love a good DIY and I love oversized coffee table books. So I did those myself. They are inspired by Restoration Hardware. So if you are looking for some oversized coffee table books that won't cost you an arm and a leg, do it yourself, guys. You can create so many things to give you that luxe look for less, and faux books are one of them. So I also have this little vase here. This came from Home Goods. It was originally brown. I think I paid $14.99 for it or $12.99. I didn't like it, so I painted it black. You guys know I love painting things black. These florals I talked about in my last video. This big one, this hydrangea, I picked up from Michaels uh, several years ago, I think around Halloween time. They do have them out now, so if you're interested, I would go pick them up. They're $9.99, but you may be able to get them on sale. These faux monstera leaves, some of them came from Z Gallery several years ago, and then some of them came from walmart from an online seller 
So that's how that looks. I love the aesthetic. Just look at that. So moody. It's going to be so perfect for fall. And guys, if you are enjoying today's video so far and you are loving the inspiration, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button and tap that notification bell. Become a member of the iStyle MyStyle family. My curtains here also came from Amazon. I love how they look here. Very inexpensive. I think they are from Nice Town, the black velvet curtains. My chandelier came from Parrot Uncle. I want to say it wasn't part of a collaboration, but um, I was looking to change out the um, fan that was up here before but I also needed a light and I wanted something pretty so when I found this I picked this up I want to say it was $300 my boyfriend put this up for me and we have loved it ever since um, this large wall art piece over here came from Grandin Road it was a little pricey around $300 this lamp also is a RH inspired look um, as you know, RH has those glass cylinder lamps. Might be just slightly taller than this one, but this one came from Amazon, and I want to say it was like $120, $130. It didn't come with a shade. It came with a white shade. I didn't like it. Again, change things up, guys. If you get something, you don't like it, you can always change the look. So, this lampshade came from Ikea. It's actually a pendant lamp that I turned into a simple lampshade. Absolutely love it. I wanna say it was around $25, $30 several years ago. But look, it just gave me a whole new, unique look here for my home. So I absolutely love it. get into the dining room today that's going to be a separate video so we're going to pan over here into this corner over here is an old coffee table or a side table I have not found another side table that I like yet so I've just been using this one and I suppose I could paint it black and I might do that but I am still on the hunt for a new one but in the meantime I'm using it this lamp came from home goods and I featured it in my entryway makeover when I first made it over and then I got the new lamp and we'll talk about the entryway later and I wanted to change out the lamp here so I thought hmm the lamp was short it wouldn't really work here so what can I do so you know those little signs that you get from the Dollar Tree that you can get for like Easter or Thanksgiving they have sayings on them well I spray painted them black <laughs> and I stacked them all together created a base I set my lamp on top and look at it look how nice that looks you know I love a good abstract design so I think this works perfectly this lamp came with a white shade again I did not like it and I decided to black out the lamp I don't know I'm just feeling the blackout look this year so this um, lamp shade came from Amazon it was sold by lamps plus in a set of two um, they were hundred and ten dollars for two which this is a really large lampshade I don't know if you can tell that I know you $50 for a lampshade is expensive, but it's very high quality, as you can tell, and $50 I did not think was a bad price, and it looks perfect here on the lamp. Now over here is the bookcases, and on the bookcases, these came from Oh, Sears many many years ago and I love these bookcases and they remind me of the bookcases from Restoration Hardware so I tried to style them out 
just like the ones from Restoration Hardware. So what I did is I took more of my faux oversized coffee table books. I put them up on the top, just like Restoration Hardware does, as you've seen in their studios and, and or their showrooms rather, and in their magazines. And I'll put up a couple of photos here. So I wanted to recreate that look. And then I had my Z Gallery vases up here and I did have them sitting sideways. So I just turned them face forward set them a little bit behind each other on top of those faux books again to give us that restoration hardware inspired look and i absolutely love it i also tried to decorate the inside of my bookcases similar to what you would see in restoration hardware and this is how they look my fireplace is from Overstock for several years ago. It did not come this way. Again, you know I love a good upcycle and a good DIY. So I did add this mosaic um, tile to the fireplace in black and white that came from Lowe's. The little fireplace um, stand, I forget what, there's an official name, I forget what it's called. Great grill, I forget. Anyway, that came from Amazon, and I want to say it was like $50, $55. These lanterns came from Target. Absolutely love them. Again, giving us Pottery Barn, you know, that Pottery Barn feel, those little lamps inside. I thrifted those. I put those inside with some candles that I purchased from Z Gallery, and that com completes that look. Also at the top, I added this... Uh, wood mango piece from Z Gallery and that completes the look up there again a very moody vibe here in my family room and I absolutely love it again we'll get into the kitchen and the dining room later but this is just the living room so absolutely love how everything came together so recently I shared with you that I wanted to change out this wall and we did absolutely that again i am inspired by restoration hardware and i love their oversized artwork but it's so pricey so expensive and so i went on the hunt and i found these from ashley home store they were 129.99 a piece so both of them were 260 dollars way less than what you would spend at Restoration Hardware. But again, I think they are giving us the Restoration Hardware look and I absolutely love it. They also like to have their oversized canvases and they usually have those um, art lights or canvas lights above them. And I'm debating whether or not to add those. I asked you guys in a previous video if you think I should. A lot of you said yes, a lot of you said no because they already have lamps here. And the two lamps are similar to a styling that you would see in Restoration Hardware, so I absolutely love that. So I'm debating on whether or not to do that. But these lamps also, again, very similar to lamps you would see from Restoration Hardware, but I picked these up also from Ashley Furniture. and. I don't know, they just give me a high-end look. They were, I wanna say $109 a piece maybe. If I can find them, I will link for them. They were on Amazon as well, so you might wanna check Amazon. And if they are on Amazon, again, you can find them in my storefront. I told you this vase came from Home Goods, and I just added these stems in here. Oh, the vase was $16.99. These A floral stems in here, absolutely love them. I'm waiting on those stems that I ordered again from Amazon that were $4.99 a piece that were very similar to these ones from A floral. They should be arriving within the next couple of weeks, so I'll let you know how those turn out. You know, I love a good candle warmer, so that's why the candle warmer is there. This uh, little buffet thing that I keep all of my dishware in came from Overstock many, many moons ago. Um, I want to say it was around $400, but it matched the furniture here that came from Sears relatively well. So 
I went ahead and picked that up. These chairs on either side, they are gray. They came from Overstock. I wanted to change them out, so what did I do? I bought chair covers, and these chair covers in black, they're black velvet, came from Amazon. These pillows also came from Amazon. I love the look. They have their white with a black piping detail. One on either side, this throw. Again, I wanted to bring in some contrast. It, it has a peacock look with a black and white. And that this also came from Amazon. So guys, budget luxury. This is what I'm talking about. In my humble opinion, I think this whole room has come together very well in what I call a budget luxury style. And I am absolutely in love with my moody living room. Just, I just love a good moody vibe. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and it has inspired you. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my moody living room. We will be decorating for fall. I will be changing up some things, adding a few things. So if you love decorating, and it's gonna be featuring black. So if you love decorating in black and white and you're looking for some inspiration and you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the iStyle My Style family. I have lots of fall decorating content coming up that you don't want to miss. So with that, my friends, let me know what you think, and I hope to see you in the next one.